nuclei which are present in efferent columns. So, motor nuclei which are present in efferent columns. So, guys, let us start with the this is one terminology that most of us do not like that is all these general somatic efferent, special visceral efferent. We must understand what is the meaning of all these columns first before we talk about the nuclei present in them. Now, when we say G, S, E, S, V, E, and G, V, E. Now, first let us elaborate them. The word says general somatic efferent. And let me highlight the word somatic. Special visceral efferent special visceral and general visceral efferent the word here to be highlighted is general visceral let us start with something which we are more familiar with special visceral efferent whenever you look into the efferent column and it is about the special visceral we are talking about the pharyngeal arches guys it is a efferent column so it definitely has to supply something now what you need to supply you need to supply the muscles and if you only think about head and neck let's say for now so we have two types of skeletal muscle we have skeletal muscles derived from the pharyngeal arches which will be supplied by the special visceral efferent so we have all the muscles which are derived from pharyngeal arches. So, special visceral efferent column, special visceral efferent column will supply those muscles which are derived from pharyngeal arches. Now, even before we talk about any other column, now look at the word pharyngeal arches. It says pharyngeal arches. How many pharyngeal arches do we have? Now, total we have six pharyngeal arch in from which the fifth one disappear. So, we have five pharyngeal arches. So, if I just quickly have a look on that, that first, second, third, fourth and sixth, these are the pharyngeal arches that we have there. Now, out of all these pharyngeal arches, what is the nerve supply for first pharyngeal arch? The nerve supply for first pharyngeal arch is mandibular nerve. For the second, it is facial. For the third, we know it is glossopharyngeal. And for the fourth and sixth, collectively, that is a superior laryngeal nerve and a recurrent laryngeal nerve, that is branch of vagus. So, I can say mandibular nerve, facial nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve are the nerves of pharyngeal arches. And all the muscles which are supplied by these cranial nerves, will be derived or will come under SVE column. Any nuclei which is present in special visceral efferent column will supply only those muscles which are derived from pharyngeal arches. And what are the muscles derived from pharyngeal arches? If you know the nerve, you know the muscles like broadly, I am not saying in detail, broadly what is mandibular nerve supplying? Mandibular nerve is supplying the muscles of mastication. The facial nerve is supplying mainly the muscles of facial expression mainly and glossopharyngeal nerve along with vagus nerve all these they are all together supplying the muscles of pharynx, larynx and palate. So, muscles of mastication muscles of facial expression which are supplied by the facial nerve, pharynx, larynx and palate, all the muscles which are supplied by the uh, vagus nerve and the accessory nerve collectively. Apart from all these muscles, whatever we have in the head and neck, skeletal muscle will be supplied by general somatic efferent. Look at the word says somatic. Somatic word came from the somite and somite will give rise to only two muscles. So, general somatic efferent column 
we have the muscles which are derived from it will supply the muscles derived from somites and the muscles the only muscle derived from the somites is now you have to guess it now look at this and think about only head and neck muscles of mastication over facial expression over muscles of palate pharynx and larynx over now what are other skeletal muscles you have in the head and neck region just think of head and neck only one group is extraocular muscle now there is no extraocular muscle in this group and another is a tongue muscle so guys extraocular and tongue muscle they are derived from the somites they are not derived from the pharyngeal arches they are derived from the somites so it's only extraocular and tongue muscles only this group will come under g s e call so g s e and s v e column both columns were for the skeletal muscles only but the difference was special visceral efferent is name given to the pharyngeal arches so muscles derived from pharyngeal arches will come under this s v e column and the muscles which are not derived from pharyngeal arches will be derived from somewhere from the somites occipital somites we have and these muscles will migrate forwards and and those muscles which are derived from somites are nothing but extraocular and tongue muscles now what are we left with general visceral efferent look at this general viscera when you use the word general viscera you use it for the uh, the mucous membrane you use it for the glands we use it for the uh, what do you say the smooth muscles so general visceral efferent column will supply the smooth muscles and glands all your parotid gland submandibular sublingual and lacrimal gland all these glands even the glands of the git and respiratory they are all supplied by the column that is called as general visceral efferent column 